Good evening from Matt Rogers, Skywatcher, to all subscribers and viewers on the channel, and members of the public around the globe as well. As we um, look ahead on the webcams again on this video this evening, and also we will see some good images from subscribers that have sent emails in, fantastic messages. Again, there have been some very strange skies, darkening at 3.30 p.m. Here in the Northern Hemisphere, we always get this dark shadow to the right-hand side of the sun. The sun just looks so dull as that object in front of it, simulator. So let's carry on and see what we find. We can find on the webcams. I've just zoomed in on this um, object, on this uh, NASA Ustream cam. Just interested me. Just looks very strange. It's got like a, a rounded object, a hollow piece in the middle of the center of this round object that's slightly red above. Also as well, it starts moving away. So I'm going to go to a different cam and come back to this later on. Look at this cam all through the nights to see what we can find. Because that looks very strange. It's nothing to do with the International Space Station. It's something that's out there as well, isn't it? Darkness of space. This is a cam in Alaska. And this is an FAA weather cam. What I'm showing you here is important because you can see an object just here, can't you? I'm going to zoom in here to this object. Something is uh, behind those chemtrails. Here it is. You could see the zoomed in now, can't you? It's kind of a red, glazy, silvery sort of celestial body or something that's up there. I've seen this on other cams as well, this strange colour in the skies. There's also another strange object on this. Uh, on the next image, I'll show you this and zoom in. Something red there. Can you see this? A red object that's behind those trails. So people over in Alaska need to look up to the skies because there's lots of different objects. I mean, there's lots of different objects all over the planet, isn't there, that's above in the skies. And they're not allowed to say anything, news media. Government are saying nothing. I've said this before. So many objects up there now that, that we're seeing these now, aren't we? I've zoomed in to these two objects. Can you see this as well? One bright and the other. To the right-hand side, there's a smaller object there. And then to the left hand side, you can see this, can't you? Just looks very strange, doesn't it? Here on this uh, live cam as well, you can see the timestamp on the top right hand corner there 1910. And also, you can see just those chemtrails and also these uh, burnt away clouds. Can you see this either side? They're just burning away, aren't they? As the simulator, the object is um, in front of our sun. It's very dark here on the skies as well. You can just see those chems in the background. But it just shows you that the, um, the amount of power that's coming from the, uh, the sun from behind this, through these uh, huge CME events and solar flares, just burning everything up because we've got that binary twin that's with it. Also spotted these two objects as well. But on the opposite side from the sun, and also you can see those chemtrails and all the uh, trash that they're spraying up there that hide anything that's uh, presenting themselves up so the public will see this. So again, just very strange, isn't it? Start on the other side. So um, just producing all the different images from different cams around the world to show you that there's uh, lots of strangeness going on in our skies. Here again, I can see on the another cam, there's no sun, there's no just a plain sky with lots of chemtrailing going on as well. I had a subscriber that sent me an email as well saying about these triangle sort of shapes in the sky, different colours. It just looked odd. It could be a cloud, something else. But with the, um, the shape of this, can you see this? Here and across and also different shades here. Can you see this? Very strange. Again, I can see on another different cam. This is um, another cam that's in Alaska. But you can see these two triangular shaped objects again, can't you? When you go through the cam, they fade off, but they don't go to the left or right or up and down. They just go straight out as if they're heading off in space. And again, you can see this object here. Can you see this? I'm going to show you the next image of the sun. They're just blasting it over in Alaska as well. 
absolutely terrible and outrageous what they're doing, isn't it? I mean, look at the sun here on this next image. Here's sun. Look at it. It's just outrageous what they're doing. That simulator in front of it, showing it to be white hot and our natural sun behind it. It's falling apart. Our natural sun is falling apart. There's big, huge chunks coming off it. And these solar flares, again, they're just blasting our skies. Breaking down our uh, magnetic field. All the time we're being uh, battered by this. And that's again what I said last night as well. That one huge event. That's all we need. It's one kill shot to take all our power grids down all across the world. That's it. We're finished with the electricity. There's no power. There, there have been, it'd be no good to use power generators. It'd be no good to drive cars. Hospitals would be cut out. There'd be no electric for the hospitals. It will be a life-changing event. Things are going to be so much different. I mean, these chems that are being sprayed in our sky is evident that very shortly we're going to get a kill shot effect from the solar activity. Here again on this cam as well, you can see where the uh, that simulator is behind those chemtrails. You can see this, can't you? And also, if you look closely, there's an object that's here that's uh, trying to cut through as well. This red object, if you can just see this. So look on the different cameras and see if you can get a better image of this object as well. You can see where this uh, simulator is burning. It's like a magnifying glass, isn't it? I mean, when you put a magnifying glass in front of the sun, it burns, doesn't it? It burns your skin, it burns paper. And it's like the greenhouse effect, isn't it? It's just, we're getting this uh, greenhouse effect now because the uh, ozone layer has got, I mean, it's disappearing now, it's finished. We are, we've got some terrible carry-ons, haven't we, really? Especially with the jet stream as well. We've got this dark, chemical, poisonous, toxins of these uh, strange clouds in front of our sun as well. So uh, I'm going to go to a different image for you. You can also see the binary twin nemesis that's below that um, simulator that's uh, in front of our sun. You can see this clearly on this cam. The simulator is, is burning through those chems. Look at, this, look at the uh, shape of it. It's not our sun anymore. And there you've got that binary twin reflection. I mean, it's burning as well. We've got two suns in the sky that are burning through all these chemicals as well. Thick grey veil of chems all the time now. And down here on the ground, these trees, they're not getting the right light or any other um, resources to grow properly anymore. Here again on this image, you can see that there are um, them heat sources up there and then different heavenly bodies are trying to pierce through those chems. And they will do. They will get through. We'll all see the strange colours in the skies in those celestial bodies. Here also are those strange objects in the sky. Can you see this? Just very strange looking. Are they cloaking devices or some sort of craft? What are they? They're not ours. I know that for a fact. They are something. They illuminate. They're just something that's up there on the left hand side of the screen. So I'm just going to keep going and see what I can find. This is called a uh, Yorkton South Cam. And again, you can see those uh, strange chemtrails, no planes, they just blast across the sun. You can see one here, just below the sun here. So what are they doing? They're, how are they doing this? Because I would like to know. They're blasting our sky with other devices. This image is um, very close to Montana in the USA. And it's just outstanding what they're doing up there in their skies. They are now getting very dark skies. So they're going into darkness as well. So they're starting to see the system now blasting their skies every single day, aren't they? You can see on the land, on the mountains and hills, it's just very dark and bleak, isn't it? Here again as well, we've got a strange sun shape, okay, from the simulator. It's cutting through those uh, chem clouds again. They spray our skies. And over there, they've sprayed them as well, that silvery haze. The timestamp there is uh, 4.01. And now we're heading into April, still in darkness. Let the light shine through the darkness, as people have said in the past. A strange shape. 
Can you see this? This is another uh, webcam as well in Alaska. Um, this also is very dark, isn't it? You can see this uh, rainbow effect that we showed you last night on the screen. Can you see this? It's part of a halo as well. They're hiding an object just here. Here it is, the object zoomed in. I'm going to go to another cam. This is another cam that's very interesting as well. This is the Palma Southeast cam. It's on the opposite side of the sun. If I show you this, okay, it's very interesting. See the timestamps there as well, like uh, you can see that, can't you? There is something that's staying on the opposite side. These chemtrails are up above. The natural clouds are being burnt away. The sun is coming up on the other side. You flip through the camera, you can see the different timing on it. It's just basically, it's just staying there on the horizon. Can you see this? All the way through. This uh, array of um, yellow redness. I believe it to be the binary twin on the horizon. On the opposite side, we've seen this on the other cams as well, the Mexico cams and the Skyline cams. This isn't from our sun. The sun is on the opposite side, up in the sky now. Look how dark it is on the land as well. It's burning through those uh, clouds now, splitting them in half. And the cams are being burnt as well. We haven't got much time, have we, really? And again, it's important that we all uh, prepare for this. It's so important. Just stay in there on the horizon there and see this. Very strange colours, huh? Chemicals. And then afterwards it stops, but it goes darker. I mean, so much plasma on the opposite side now, isn't there? I know there's not a lot to see on this cam image, okay? This weather observation cam. Now, all I want to tell you this, okay, that we're seeing these chemtrails above our natural clouds and being burnt. And I've said this so many times before as well, so the message needs to come out though. It really does. But it's getting dark. Too dark for the timestamp, 401. Darkened shadows up there in the dark blueness of the skies. It's like there's a hole, isn't there? And then later on in the day, you'll start seeing stars. And we didn't see the stars till seven, eight o'clock in the summertime. What's going on? These green reflections on those uh, clouds that we've seen on the mass accounts on the other side. These mountains and the ground as well on the roof here. Just so evident that the uh, sun is dimming all the time now. This again, look at these harp clouds. These are made from harp. These are not from uh, chemtrails. These are controlled clouds. That make these patterns in the sky to cover our celestial body, the sun, with that simulator, to hide the brown dwarf star as well, the reflections. Again, on the ground, it's just absolutely dark at the time stamp. Very strange cloudings. We're seeing this all the time now. They're using those technology, harp and CERN, they're using it all the time now. Without us knowing, it's affecting us as well because of these uh, so much radiation in the sky now, these toxins. I mean, they're, they're pump pumping everything up there now, aren't they? using as much as what technology they have to hide everything from us. Because just imagine if everybody looked up at the skies and noticed them huge heavenly bodies right now, which are there now. They will be anarchy, mass panic. Everything will just shut down straight away. Nobody would trust the system anymore. The system that we've been a slave to. The money system. So we really need to... Uh, Wake more people up, it's so important. Can you see this on this image here? There's a reflect, there's something there behind those chems. Can you see the red reflection here as the simulator is rising? There's that halo as well, it's a cloaking device to the right hand side of the sun, getting the shadow. You can see it just illuminating through those chems. They put this here, this halo as well, so we can't see this huge celestial body. It really is coming now, isn't it? It's just so important to get the message out. I'm seeing the evidence every day, I'm sorry, but this is really, really happening now, isn't it? This is called the Kotzebue Cove, southeast. Now, 
I've said it again, haven't I? Just before on other videos as well. The sun's risen there. Look at the timestamp on the left hand side. Saturday as well, 1st of April today. You can see how dark it is, the shadow on the right hand side of the screen, can't you? Now, years before just gone, this object this in front of our sun wasn't there before. I'm sure it wasn't, because the thing is, our sun would be a yellow sun that's up there in the skies. And we would get the brightness, wouldn't we, on the land. Look at this sheet of chemtrails. There's also an object that's behind these chems. You can just see the red outline just behind it. There's something there. And it's also proving this dark shadow. They're definitely using mirrors and technology up there to hide everything. Here again on this screen as well. It blasts the skies. This colour in the skies in high definition. It's not our blue skies. This is more chemicals that are above dark chems. But people on the ground would look up and think, oh, look, there's darker skies. It's all grey, silvery haze, mixed chemicals, all of it, every single piece of it. Look at the lines in the sky here. Can you see this red reflection down here? There'd be an object that's down here on the horizon here. I can see it myself, and I know others can see it too. So we need to prepare, and also I'm hoping other people's eyes are opening for this as well, because the event is uh, stepping very close to us now, isn't it? This camp, the uh, Chan de la Cour. this is pointing south. And also you've got just poisons up there, but can you see what happens here? This strange aurora, this strange glow through the camps. It's more than one body that's rising up. And look at the ground, look how dark it is. Very, very dark. Time stamp there, 1022. It shouldn't be like that, it should be white, normal sunlight. And you've got like a rainbow effect here as well. As I said before, you get this rainbow effect when you get a moon eclipse. It's just outstanding how they're getting away with this. Yes, it looks spectacular, but it's so dangerous, isn't it? Huge chems that have been sprayed. Just very strange, bleaky skies, aren't they? Again, it's April. Very strange. Just looking at the different images just blows me away. I mean, you must be blown away with these images. I mean, look at them, what they're doing in the skies. There's a red reflection here. There's a red reflection here as well. They've put this cam down. They pointed it downwards slightly. This cam was pointing up towards the sun. Now it's gone down slightly. You can see this red haze, can't you? It's on the land as well. I'm going to go to a different cam now. You can just see this reflection from Nibiru here. And the, re the reflections are coming across there. Look at these chemicals again spraying. Look at this blue object as well that's lighting up the skies as well. It's getting worse, isn't it? Here as well, this uh, same image can. The Shangnan can east. We've got this object as well that's in the skies that comes up as well. This is our uh, sun. This is another object up there. These chems trying to cover everything before the sun rises with that object simulator. Here again you've got the halo as well on the screen. It's there isn't it? They don't want you to see this do they? So they just keep sandblasting the skies with these chemicals, barium, all sorts of uh, things that we're breathing in every day now. Also with this cam as well, we're getting a pink reflection from another heavenly body behind those uh, grey silvery haze caps. You can see this, can't you? The sun would be up here, but you can see this reflection just coming through this pink this as well. Other patterns, strange patterns as well in the skies behind those uh, caps. So we'd like to know what's going on, won't we? It's so important that we uh, we all want the truth. So uh, I'm going to come off the uh, the webcams now and uh, show you some uh, images of uh, some co subscribers that sent me some images in. This image was brought in by a kind subscriber from the USA and she is telling me that uh, through emails her sky is very pink every morning. 
through the day. It's just red and pink all the time, as you can see on the screen here. And she'd never seen it like this before. She's lived in this uh, beautiful village where she lives over there in the USA. She liked to remain, as I said before, anonymous about this. But she's just a bit worried about it as well, so as a family. I'm going to show you another image from her, what she's uh, sent me in. Here's another image as well of that strange sky that she sees all through the day. Now we get to see it here in the UK, but it's a lot further away on the uh, those horizons. But it's a lot closer where she is here, isn't it? You can see that as well, can't you? It's rising up there, isn't it? That horizon. So I hope the lady's safe and her family, and I hope you're all safe. Every single one of you subscribers. Here again, she's seen this uh, shadow in the sky. I believe this to be Nibiru. We see these on the Mexico camps as well, don't we? This round object that's illuminating the skies. It's covering up the natural sky slump. And the natural clouds are just doing nothing. Can you see these? There's something coming in that's huge. There again, you can see this, can't you? I mean, thank you for sending these in to me. I've got a, loads of different images, and I will show these on different videos as well. Here you can see this again, can't you? This pink light source in the skies. I mean, it's not here to the left, or it's not to the right-hand side. It's just bang in the center, isn't it? This huge object that we're seeing all the time on the cams as well. And these are genuine photos that this kind lady subscriber sent in to me. Here you can see this as well. She's taking a picture of the, the sun here, the simulator. You can see an object here as well. Very pink, isn't it? We're seeing this pink light source all the time, aren't we? It's getting much worse now. It really is. Can you see what she's done here? She's actually uh, enhanced it darker. Basically, you can see the, uh, the objects as well. I'm going to play this video that she sent me in. Here is the object, and you see this on the screen. What she's done is it's night footage, and she spotted something that's in the skies. I'm going to play the footage now. Can you see that this, the way this moves? It's very strange, isn't it? It's taken the image with a high-definition camera. And there's more objects that are flashing around up there as well, isn't there? Very strange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out all the uh, images from uh, those brilliant subscribers. I'll do a long video on subscribers' uh, images uh, tomorrow. It's been very busy here as well. I'm doing lots of different jobs now today. So, as it says on this uh, image here, don't be afraid of your answer. Be afraid of your governments who hide the truth, which they're doing. Other people say it's a conspiracy. It's not. It's the truth. This is a real event. They just don't want us to see what's coming our way now. In the path of uh, Earth's orbit, they've got those objects that are very uh, much in coming now. And every day I just um, look at the skies. I even video the skies. I, I video them every day just to see the changes and document it down using my diaries. And, and I hope to catch something huge like last year, that red halo in the skies southwest it was like a rainbow but it was red and it was absolutely spectacular to see that why was it there i don't know so if i catch something absolutely outstanding i will put that on video for you as well everybody knows that something is wrong that are viewing the channels now and viewing those skies the lowered clouds they're blatantly spraying our skies every day now, aren't they? It's got to a point now that we know that that's happening now. We just want to look beyond those camps to see those huge objects. Lots more people are looking up to the skies now. And that's great because we're starting to wake up to their system now, aren't we? Propaganda media lies. The government. They don't want us to see anything, do they? They don't want us to see the truth. We are now opening up to the uh, other dimensions of life now, aren't we? Seeing the truth, looking past the veil. They don't like it, do they? But I'm afraid it's going to be done now, isn't it? We're going to see this, aren't we? So I'm going to go back tomorrow and I'm going to uh, make up a video of uh, other images. And they're all fantastic. We're all seeing the same thing as well. It's absolutely outstanding. So have a great evening.
and a great Sunday tomorrow from Matt Rogers. Good evening from Matt Rogers, Skywatcher, to all subscribers and viewers on the channel, members of the public around the globe as well. As we um, look ahead on the webcams again on this video this evening, and also we will see some good images from subscribers that have sent emails in, fantastic messages. Again, there have been some very strange skies, darkening at 3.30pm. Here in the Northern Hemisphere, we always get this dark shadow to the right-hand side of the sun. The sun just looks so dull as that object in front of it, simulator. So let's carry on and see what we find we can find on the webcams. I've just zoomed in on this um, object on this uh, NASA U stream cam. Just interested me. Just looks very strange. It's got like a, a rounded object, a hollow piece in the middle of the centre of this round object that's slightly red above. Also as well, it starts moving away, so I'm going to go to a different cam and come back to this later on. Look at this cam all through the night to see what we can find. Because that looks very strange. It's nothing to do with the International Space Station. It's something that's out there as well, isn't it? Darkness of space. This is a cam in Alaska. And this is an FAA weather cam. What I'm showing you here is important because you can see an object just here, can't you? I'm going to zoom in here to this object. Something is uh, behind those chemtrails. Here it is. You can see this zoomed in now, can't you? It's kind of a red, glazy, silvery sort of celestial body or something that's up there. I've seen this on other cams as well, this strange colour in the skies. There's also another strange object on this. Uh, on the next image, I'll show you this and zoom in. Something red there. Can you see this? A red object that's behind those trails. So people over in Alaska need to look up to the skies because there's lots of different objects. I mean there's lots of different objects all over the planet now isn't there that's above in the skies. And they're not allowed to say anything news media. Government are saying nothing. I've said this before. So many objects up there now that, that we're seeing these now aren't we? I've zoomed in to these two objects. Can you see this as well? One brighter than the other. To the right hand side, there's a smaller object there. And then to the left hand side, you can see this, can't you? It just looks very strange, doesn't it? Here on this uh, live cam as well, you can see the timestamp on the